In this video, we're discussing environmental toxins and how they are destroying your health. Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski from NewVisionExcel.com. If you're new to the channel, it is such a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification to join our notification community, and I'm gonna help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're talking about environmental toxins. This is a big deal today. There's more toxins in our environment than ever before. There's more chemicals on the market than ever before, and there's more people who are sick than ever before. And one of the reasons for this is because of environmental toxins, because these different toxins bioaccumulate in our body, in our organs, in our deep tissues like our bones, our brains, and our nervous system, and they cause all types of health crises. Now, I mean, how many people do you know that have thyroid issues? How many people with hormone issues, weight loss resistance, um, ADD, ADHD? How many kids out there are autistic? You know, one of the things that we can definitely correlate to many of these different illnesses that people are suffering from is environmental toxins and how they are becoming more and more of an issue. And so let's go ahead and identify some of the top environmental chemicals that are likely in contact with you on a daily basis. So the first major toxin that we need to watch out for is heavy metals here. And so when we look at heavy metals, there are many, but the two major contributors to toxicity is gonna to be lead and mercury. Now, in today's environment, we don't come across lead as much as they used to. It used to be in paint, it used to be in toys, it used to be in gasoline, it used to be in many different things out there. And so though today's generation isn't being as, as exposed as much, one of the things that, that is happening is that just because lead is stored in the deep tissues such as the bones, when the mother becomes pregnant, the bones start to demineralize and the lead is transferred down to the baby. And so that is why someone who has had zero lead exposure can still have heavy metal problems with lead because it came from their parents. Now mercury is the same way. It also can be transferred down from generation to generation, but one of the big contributors to mercury poisoning that many people face today is the amalgam fillings that people have gotten put in their mouth due to dental cavities. And then many people thought they were doing themselves a favor and getting them removed and they didn't do it right so they had even more mercury exposure. So mercury likes to store in the fat tissues like the brain, the nervous system, lead likes to store in the bone and they're major contributors to unexplained chronic illnesses. So we got to really watch out for the heavy metals. Now next here on our list is plastics. So plastics are everywhere in our environment. You know, one of the things that you're going to find in plastics you got to watch out for is BPA. Now, you know, the environmental agencies have done pretty good with taking BPA out of most of the plastics that we come in contact with, but one of the things that's very highly available in plastics is phthalates. Now, the phthalates are in any types of plastics that are soft. You know, we're thinking like shower curtains, raincoats, um, you know, all types of plastics. And so, anyway, we always want to stay away from plastics whenever possible. We want to store our food in glass containers and make better decisions there, drink out of, you know, uh, good glass water bottles and not plastic water bottles and so avoid plastics whenever possible because this is considered an endocrine disruptor once again throwing off hormone balance throwing off neurological balance immune balance so on and so forth next big one here is toxic cleaners now toxic cleaners you know when we have the different cleaners in our house we need to make sure that we're making good decisions because if we go and our we clean our home and though it's clean you know if we just sprayed hundreds of chemicals all over the place and it's coming into contact with our skin, one of the largest organs on, in our body, then we are certainly going to become very toxic from it. So we need to make sure that when it comes to cleaners that we're avoiding the toxic ones. You know, especially uh, perk is a major, uh, major uh, toxin that is found in cleaners. And then the different scents are major contributors to toxicity too. So, you know, these cleaners smell very nice in many cases, but the scents that are in them are very toxic and also can disrupt immune system function and all the other things that I I just mentioned there. Now, when we come and look at beauty products, you know, the average woman is putting hundreds of chemicals on her body every time she leaves the house in the morning when she gets ready. So when we look at these different beauty products, they're loaded with parabens, sodium lauryl sulfate, and phthalates, okay? We also want to look to beauty products such as shampoo and conditioners and all these different things that people are putting onto their bodies that are very, very toxic in nature. So when it comes to beauty products, make sure that you're good at getting good, clean beauty products that aren't loaded with chemicals. 
Next topic for discussion here is our food, okay? You know, I always recommend that we try to buy organic if possible. If it's not possible, we look for good quality sources. We look for farmers markets. We look for local farmers. We look for food that we know is not loaded with pesticides. We look for foods that we know doesn't have GMOs in it. I also listed like growth hormone and antibiotics here because if we're buying meat products from animals that pharmaceuticals were used on, then by nature, what happens is those pharmaceuticals get lodged into the tissues of the body. Well, essentially when you're eating meat, that's a tissue from an animal and you're eating pharmaceuticals. So we want to make sure that we're eating good quality food sources, whether it's vegetables, fruits, or meats. Okay. On to the next topic, water. Water is, you know, water is life essentially. And many people are drinking water that's very toxic. It seems so unreasonable today that, you know, our ancestors were able to just go drink out of streams and, and lakes and, and not even think about this stuff. But, you know, as a result of pouring chemicals into the environment for, you know, many, many years and thinking that they somehow just magically disappear, we've ended up with a problem today with water that is very, very toxic. And so if you live in the city, you're likely going to have water that's loaded with chlorine chlorine and fluoride. I mean, you can typically, if you live in the city, you can typically fill up a, a sink and you can just smell the chlorine as if it's like a pool. And so chlorine and fluoride are two major um, chemicals that are in city water, but you're also going to find pharmaceuticals as well. And so the reason that pharmaceuticals are in the water is because people are dumping their prescriptions down the toilet. Even though the government has asked people not to do that, some people still do it. But the other problem is, is so many people are on prescriptions, they are are simply going through the body whether they don't dissolve and they're just you know going out in the stool or if they're going out through the urine what's happening is they're going into the water system and then you're getting them in your nice fresh water in your home so pharmaceuticals have been identified many pharmaceuticals have been identified in in different drinking water and this isn't just city water if you're actually out in the country I mean you have to watch out for other you know chemicals that are very high in the water too I know we personally have an issue with arsenic so Anyway, make sure you're always drinking good, clean water sources. The next one here is mold. So many people who are suffering from some sort of chronic illness, you know, make sure you're always checking to see if there is mold in your home or in your workplace because some, once again, a lot of people have some sort of chronic illness that just can't be explained and mold can be a major contributor to that. There's, you know, there's whole documentaries out there on how mold destroys your health. One of the, some of the common symptoms that you find if mold is an issue is allergy like symptoms, right? Runny eyes, you know, uh, stuffy nose. And so, you know, always check your home, your workplace, and any area that you're hanging out in for mold if you're someone who's suffering from a chronic issue and you can't, ex and you can't figure out the reason behind it. Next here is fire retardants. So fire retardants are simply on everything. They're on the shirts and clothing that we wear. They're in the bedding. They're in mattresses. They're in carpets. Fire retardants are everywhere in our environment. And so, you know, the reason that's a big deal is because first of all, just like all these other chemicals, they're going to depress the immune system. They're going to uh, disrupt our endocrine system, disrupt neurological function, cause a lot of health issues in the body. But the other thing about the fire retardants is that they're getting into our body and to have to kind of give you some proof of this one of the things that they found is that mother's breast milk had fire retardants in it in high amounts they also even found fire retardants in cord blood uh, uh, from the cord blood going to the fetus. And so when we look at fire retardants, we need to make sure that we're staying away from different bedding, different clothing, and different products in our home that have fire retardants as best as we can. Now, I wrote a whole article on toxicity and how we go through this whole process of removing it, where we actually use these different um, nutritional products to actually push the toxins out of our body and then grab those toxins and pull them from our body. I'll link that in the description below. We also talk about a lot more toxins in the article. So the other thing that we have to do is make sure we're removing these toxins from our environment because they will destroy your health if they are not already. Other than that, be sure to share this information with your friends. They need to see this too. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos on toxicity and how you can improve your health. I'll see you in the next video.